私とセピロス剣術について学びたい、huh. 一人前になった君に復讐するのも悪くないわね Right before the、uh, song decided to loop again. Do I need to resize this? No, it's okay. Wasn't sure if I needed to resize that. Oh,、uh, we're late. Ah,、oh, what are you gonna do? Yes, this will be pretty quick.、Um, we got this. Meet with catching. Let's do that last. Let's actually. Let's do the fireworks. Yeah. Oh. That's the catching quest. Never mind. Let's do. I did these off screen. I thought there would be more for a third day. Um. There's not. It's two different things. I don't know what this means. But it was pretty much you just wove,、uh, rode the wave rider around and you had to defeat enemies and pick up crates. So it wasn't too exciting. I can replay it now.、Uh, where is it? Which one's closest? Turn safely to harbor. I mean, midpoint interception. It was literally just like you went to crates, the crates were guarded by enemies, and you had to defeat the enemies to get the crates. You just knocked them into the water. Wasn't that exciting?、Uh, what will be exciting, however, Wonder of Shadows, Shadow Puzzles. Those are always exciting. Yes, that should be pretty fun. And I might actually switch over. I think I'm going to switch over to the English voices when we go to start catching's quest. Look at this. Two minutes, 21 seconds. This one, these are pretty long. Moro is pretty fast. If I can figure out what it is,、uh, Riddle progress. Riddle progress? Any. Any hints on what it should be? This is close. Something like this, and then. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be. Rex Lapis? Or is this supposed to be like a. Plant? You can only rotate this horizontally. Hmm. Oh. Oh. I know what this is. Is that not it? Isn't it what's his face? Isn't it the. Is it not? Yeah. So that's what I'm supposed to make, I guess. Like this? Okay, I don't know. That wasn't very close, but okay. Deer. Oh, that's not. I mean, I guess it's what I thought it was. Let's go to the next one. Uh, that's embarrassing. I had to get to the hint. Spin this. Oh, something like this.
Ooh, that's pretty close. Oh. Right? Isn't this like a silk flower or something? Right? Is like, is this... Is this not what this is? Like, this is very obviously... It's one of the flowers, isn't it? Is this not like a glaze lily or something? Am I just not lining this up right? Hello, rock. Right? Like, that's just what this is. Am I just... There we go. Blooming flower. Yeah. I was like... It's, it's gotta be. Uh, This looks pretty disgusting. If I move this around any weird ways... Okay, so it probably... It wants this to be like... This? It wants this to be like this. What about if I... It wants this to be somewhere in this range, okay. It wants this to be somewhere in this range. Can I turn this? Yeah, it wants to be- okay. Ah. When we just- okay, so it's just horizontally. How are ya? Pretty good. Oh. Still no idea- I have no idea what this is. But I think the... I have a feeling that the... These are... I don't know, I feel like the rungs don't have anything to do with it. I had some really... tedious stuff I had to do today. Which was not fun, but it is what it is. Okay, and this... So it really doesn't care, it just wants it to be somewhere down here. Uh, I feel like I've lost progress. I'm gonna get another riddle hint, oh no. I mean, I guess I could just redo these when I know what it's supposed to be. Oh. Wait, is it now, is it? What's her face? I keep thinking one of these got to be like a bird or something. Yeah. It's going to be like... I thought the other one was like a uh, mountain shaper or whatever. Is this the right way? I'm at Ross currently. How does this go? Oh, it's upside down. One, I think, right? Yeah, there we go. Turn this up. Segment two. Turn this more like this. Segment three. Turn this more like this and then there we go crane yeah i think i got what all they were i just didn't actually oh is that the worst one i've done yeah that's the worst i've done all the simple ones are pretty easy though what do we get here books well let's go see if we can do this This one. Whatever this is. You just fight him. It's kind of boring. Oh, what's the fastest way to get over there? This is my wave rider, isn't it? Oh, no, no, that's the thing. Honestly, it's probably faster just to go this way. Swimming across the water takes forever. I'll join back in a bit. Have fun. Yeah. Hopefully... I do better at the rest of the event than the shadow puzzle. I think the bush fight is going to go very well, um, considering I'll have a real party this time. 
and it won't be uh, Kaya and Chi Chi with Fischl and Sucrose. It was definitely a team. Not a good one, but it was a team. I know. Beta's been pretty good in the Eula comp right now, just because we're fighting lots of enemies with the treasure hoarders. Guaranteed to have at least two enemies. So, makes it nice and easy to get the full value out of her burst. Oh. It's gonna be like a trial. Hmm. Defeat the treasure hoarders. Uh, you, okay, so this is gonna be like a tower defense type thing. Kind of a treasure type thing. Can I just immediately burst? Not doing a lot of damage, not that really matters. Pick up. Oh, we're stuck in a crate. T. 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 Oh. Dragon Spike. Dragon Strike, Dragon Spike. Just got it. Oh. Dead. Oh. Dead. Oh, you got a thing. Come on. What? Oh. I hate fighting here. Uneven terrain with treasure hoarders, literally the worst thing that's ever existed. Get you rid of you, get rid of you. Get rid of you. Some healing in here. Oh, no healing. Oh, I didn't hold. What? Oh, not hitting him. Huh. Well, I... What is the thing I had to do? Is it time? I didn't really check the challenges. Oh, yep. With more than 90 seconds remaining. It's pretty simple. What's this? Bountiful year? And we got some immaculate talismans. I... No, we already have those. What are we missing? Uh, affluence talisman, immaculate talisman. Okay, so this... This must just... This must not actually take them. This must just be the thing to claim it. This must be the thing that actually costs you things, and then the event shop uses... No, there's gotta be... Okay. I guess you get them from the Beist fight. I was gonna say, I don't know. Well, let me use this, because I don't want to watch the stacks fade away. Uh, I can't say that was very enjoyable. It reminded me a lot of the... Um, what was it? You know the... Oh, the Shadows Admits Snowstorms thing. I think that's what it was. Where you had to fight the... Monsters and you had to defeat, like, you had to, like, shut down the little heat cycle thing with Jigs. Or whatever. You had, like, the frozen things that put sheer cold or that whatever on them. The ice aura. And you had to get the crimson jade or whatever. That reminded me of that. A little scuffed. So, let me go over here. And let me just... I gotta restart the game. Voice over language, English. Oh, and I got my check-in. Let's claim that too. Quick game. Nothing a lot. I'll talk in between. Not a lot whole lot happened. Um I got trigger happy with my fates from the login thing. So I think we're at What are we at? I think we're at thirty-three or we're either at twenty-eight or we're at thirty-three. Uh, pity on 
Chongli. I believe we were at 33. I can check. And I'm pretty sure we're at 33. You can't risk it. It might only be 28. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, it's 33. Oh, it's more than 33. It is... We're at 34. Okay, nice. And I believe the shop reset. And I'll switch back over to the game now. Hey, Noel and Beto, finally. That's a nice... This is something that I want to see. It's a really nice thing to see. Uh, let's get all these. And all these. And we'll do this at the end. Five and five. Uh, we are currently at two of our ten here. I got a Xingqiu early. So by the end of this, we'll be three away from Fiddy. Or uh, two away from the four-star Fiddy. And then I have no idea where we are on the standard banner because, because frankly, into something more serious. I don't. And if that keep track. happens, well, I can't go avenging my clan by picking on the sick now. I think this is a good team. This is a really good generalist team. It's Eula. It's overworld content in the event. It's really good. I have heard that the catching that we get in the trial has some really scuffed uh, gear. Visibility is excellent. If we head to higher ground, my, oh, we I'm can do a full Whoa, recon of that? enemy activity in the area. Oh, I know what this is. This is because I believe this is a smaller window than you want to learn some Favonia's blade the work. The other. <laughs> all right then, I'll teach you. Oh yes, I'll teach you. Okay, but you I think we're right. good now. Okay. Mark my um, words. <laughs> yes, yes, you will. But yeah, this is a pretty generalist team for what we're doing here. Should be able to take care of most content relatively comfortably. Uh, but I have heard that the catching we get in this trial event is super scuffed, so that'll Rest be fun. Assured, all is quiet here in Chinksa Village. Zhang Yun is guarding the outside, and I'm guarding the inside. Not a problem in sight. Is that really what Zingzhou sounds like? I feel like... I feel like... Christina V read that a little different. Good. I've made some progress in my investigation as well. Oh? What are you planning? Is it time to strike? Perfect timing. Count me in. Perfect timing. Let's go! Let's go. Traveler, climb go on. where? You are just in time. I looked everywhere and I found some clues regarding the treasure hoarders. Besides wagon tracks, I also came across bits and pieces of fireworks packaging scattered on the road. Following those clues, I was able to finally locate the missing fireworks. But there was no sign of treasure hoarders. Did they run away? No, I think they might be just overly careless. I seem to have found the location where they've been stashing all their stolen goods. They must have thought it was well hidden and deemed it unnecessary to post any guards. Huh. Well then. I mean, I guess you could say if it was hidden well enough, having guards would be more suspicious or make it easier to find than not having guards, but... Of course, that supposes the fact that nobody will find it. The amount of fireworks they've amassed there is astonishing. Not only did they steal the ones in Chingsa Village, but also from other locations too. They've gathered all the stolen goods there. I've asked the Mililith on guard at Chingsa Village to report this to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. They will organize a search around that warehouse. What's the shiny? Oh, wait. Is that investigation stuff, or is that like, an actual effect in the cutscene? Now that the Mililith is involved, you don't need to handle this yourself anymore! The treasure hoarders are notoriously cunning, and they may even have lookouts. If they notice anything suspicious, they will move the fireworks and our single lead will be lost. I have to keep an eye on the situation. Uh, you're not really thinking that you can take all of them yourself, are you? Yeah, catching their all light enemies, they'll be knocked back by your charge attacks. No, I am not that reckless. I just want to investigate the case thoroughly. But now that I have your help, the idea is feasible. So you really are considering it? They're just treasure hoarders. Okay, then there's no time to lose. Let's go. So 
Hello, Zingcho. Though they are merely a group of irksome bandits. Please, exercise caution. I know. He sounds a little bit, uh, more normal, I guess. Excuse me. Uh, I guess, like, more in tune with... Is now, is this above or is this below? Having uh, a topographical... Having, like, a range indicator would be really nice. Let's just teleport here. Uh, especially in Enkenomiya. I guess you can just look at it on the map, but for, like, stuff that's only on the map, like the Oculi, it'd be really nice if I'm going up or down. Especially in Inazuma. Found an Oculi that was, uh, in underwater that you had to plunge into. And I was like, whoa. Totally thought it was gonna be... What? Totally thought it was gonna be up in the air based on... The... Electrograna. What kind of wood do you give me? We huh? Okay. Oh, that's not hidden at all. These treasure hoarders must have returned to check on the stolen fireworks. Please hide yourselves. Let's wait and see what happens. Hey, boss. You think we have enough fireworks now? Ha! <laughs> Are you kidding? This ain't nowhere near enough. Ah, uh, but boss, if we want more fireworks, we're gonna have to steal them in the city. Ain't gonna be easy. Hmm. You got a point. All right. Then we steal those things that make a real loud bang but don't light up real pretty. What do they call them? Ah, yeah. Firecrackers. Those will do the job. All we need to do is make some real ruckus. As long as we distract the Millilith, the other hoarders can do their end of the job. You get it? Got it, boss. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. We're gonna hit the jackpot this time. Uh, but, uh, boss, all our boys are out scouting around. Don't you think we need a few more to guard the stash? Hey, don't worry about it. The Millilith are swamped with lantern right. They won't have time to come out here. All right, move it, boys. Just a few more batches and we'll be... This is like the most not hidden place I've ever seen. It's literally on the top of a plateau. With no trees around it. Uh-oh. Hey, boss, we got trouble. Huh? We've got what trouble. Happened? The jig is up, boss. The, the Millilith are coming, and it seems they've already caught our scouts. If one of the boys hadn't set off a firework to warn us, we would have been completely blindsided. Boss, let's run. But how did the Millilith find out about us? And so quickly, too. Oh. Zing. Uh, Ju. That's very confusing. I was like, what? Zing Cho? Jing Zhou? Ah, fine. Leave the fireworks and let's split. They won't be catching us. It's time to make our move. Ready? Ah, everything. Ah, I see what's happening. Oh. Let's go. I'm ready. I don't know if the frames are ready. Drop your weapons and surrender immediately. Let's check out this trial catching. <laughs> Get out of my way! You got a death wish or something? I'll show you! Huh? Wait a second. You're Lady Kutching, the Yuhong. Kutching. <laughs> so you do recognize me then? I'll say it one more time. Drop your weapon and surrender. Now! Who would have thought we'd run into the Yuhong all the way out here? All right, hoarders. Looks like the Yuhong wants to play. We'll show you. Get him. Yuhong wants to play like the the what's the game? What's that game? Alice wants to play. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. We're hitching. I don't like this. I'm going to see partially I'm in this menu. This is look at catching stuff. Also, uh, we get to actually hear the dialogue instead of defeating all the enemies before it happens. We got Primordial Jade Wing Cutter and we got Noblesse Oblige. Why? Why on the main DPS? We got 101 crit rate and 130 crit damage. And no elemental bonus. What is this disgusting? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah! 
Oh, we're really... We're really lagging. Cut to the chase. Well, bam. Don't blink. Well, bam. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, this lag is awful. Ah. Beg for mercy. Oh no, this is Crush. like. I hope this doesn't continue. This is like unplayable. Not unplayable. Right, so you want to do this the hard way. But all this hitching, and this we, is not good. We surrender, you Hong. Now, I want some answers. What were you planning to do with the stockpile of fireworks? We, we just. Tell the truth, and I might go easy on you. We... Uh, fine. We were gonna smuggle these fireworks into the city and ignite them during the Lantern Rite's opening ceremony. The fireworks are really bright and loud and would definitely raise some havoc. We were gonna rob the city while everyone's distracted by the explosions. But, uh... We didn't seem to have enough fireworks, so... Oh? So you mean you had more than one group of thieves stealing fireworks? Yeah, that's right. Originally, I had all the hoarders out stealing fireworks, but then one of them got caught by the Feiyun Commerce Guild and was arrested. I really didn't get it. Why did the Feiyun Commerce Guild get involved? We were only stealing from the government. No, uh, what I meant is, uh, well... I was worried that the guy who got arrested would rat us out. Who would have guessed we'd end up running into you like that? Hey, didn't one of you just say that the Millilith were coming too? Yeah, that's right. I wonder how the Millilith even found out we had dispatched scouts. They somehow captured almost all of them. If someone hadn't alerted us, we would have all been caught. Well, you did get caught. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. It appears that the Millilith managed to get the captured treasure hoarder to talk. There may still be other treasure hoarders in the area. We should head elsewhere just to be safe. Traveler, please escort the treasure hoarders back to Chingsa Village and hand them over to the Millilith stationed there. I'll be there once I am finished inspecting this place. All right. Yes, you too. I'll see you in Chingsa Village. Now... Let me see if I can lower some of these graphic settings. First thing we want to do. This, we don't really care. One. This, we don't really care. Off. That was enough last time. I'm not even playing it in the big window. So hopefully that's enough. I don't know what else it could be. We were running fine the other day, but you know, you never know teleport here that might actually be closer but if that one's kind of low so I think because we can glide down we're still hitching hmm let me check something Come on, load. Let's see. Is this going good or... I don't think it's actual game lag. I think our connect... Well, I guess it's game lag. I think the actual game is running fine. I think it's like a... It might be like a refresh problem. Because I noticed when I had it pulled up earlier, let me actually pull both up now. I'm noticing that... Yeah.
It's not just the game that's hitching, it's everything hitches at the same time. I'll put this down to 30, see if that does anything, and I'll also drop this down to low, because I don't really... Knights and aristocrats share the same cultural heritage. No, nope, that's just going to make it look worse. We're not going to do that. Hmm. There's not a whole lot I can do, aside from restarting the game fully. Hmm. <sighs> This is the last batch of fireworks that I can get. Please ensure that there will be no further problems. That kind of bit sounds like, uh, Keith Silverstein. Don't worry. The Yu Hong will be taking care of this personally. And with us on guard, I assure you it'll be safe. Yes, indeed. Oh, it appears the Traveler has returned. And with two others, no doubt. They're the thieves. You tell everyone how the thieves were caught. It's definitely dangerous to infiltrate an enemy area like that. If only I was there to fight alongside you. Come now. We both know the Traveler is most capable. <laughs> but who would have known we performed such a noble deed? We had arrested the treasure hoarder earlier by mere happenstance. Yeah, talk about a coincidence. It seems that justice always finds its way into the world. It is in fateful moments that miracles are born. So it was you! You horrible brutes are the ones who stole the fireworks? Just the sight of you two makes my blood boil. Please, calm down. I doubt they'll be causing any more trouble now that they're in custody. Thank you very much, Traveler. But may I ask, why has Lady Kuching not returned with you? Kuching. <laughs> Kuching was worried there'd be more treasure hoarders lurking about. She wanted to conduct a full search of the area. Oh, I see. Yes, Lady Kuching is quite thorough. A squad of militists came by just now. I believe they were sent by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I also heard that most of the fleeing treasure hoarders have already been apprehended. Hopefully that will be the end of this matter. Anyway, you may leave these treasure hoarders to us. I will escort them back to the city and make sure they stand trial with the others. And thus, our chapter has finally reached its timely conclusion. I am partial to fireworks myself, but I'm afraid we must also be leaving now. Huh? Why the hurry to get back to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Oh, don't tell us you have work to do too! Are you busy as well, Zingcho? Inevitably, affairs do become busier around festive seasons. But no need to worry. We have many attendants to assist us. And there's always Chong Yun, too. Huh? You mean you're assigning more work to me? Tis only my duty as your dearest friend. Work before play, as they say. I'm sure you understand. Oh, all right. I suppose. As the saying goes, many hands make light work. As long as work is assigned to the right people, Everything will proceed without a hitch. If you ask me, I think speaking eloquently is just a guise for assigning work to everybody else. All right, all right. I shall treat you to a meal after the work is done. Farewell, traveler. By the way, do you know when Lady Kuching will be back, traveler? There are not many fireworks in the second batch that I brought, so... I'm worried that we can't achieve the show's desired effect. I was hoping we could somehow retrieve the stolen fireworks. Hey! Did you hear that explosion? Maybe it was fireworks. <gasps> or maybe more treasure orders! <gasps> That's where Kaching was. Or Kaching. I mean, I get it. I'm fine with saying, uh, for having the, having more of an uh sound instead of an S sound instead of catching and having it be catching. I don't know. But is the emphasis really on the second syllable? Do y'all really get to say ka-ching? We already got enough Lightning McQueen memes going around. Couldn't it just be like Lady Kaching? Or Lady, 
uh, catching. Or like a mix. I don't know. Where are we going? We're going up here. Come on, Eula. It's time to unga bunga. More speed. Oh. Nope. Maybe she just set one off for fun. Oops. What did I do? That didn't sound like catching. That's pretty funny though. Hey! Catching! Wait, where are the treasure hoarders? Uh, uh huh. What treasure hoarders? We heard an explosion and thought it might be treasure hoarders sending signals to one another again. Uh, I see. Sorry, that's not the case. I saw a few sticks of fireworks on the ground, so I fiddled with them and... Sure enough, it seems... I accidentally lit the fuse. Before I could react, the fireworks were... <clears throat> already up in the air. Oh. Well then. So no enemies? Whew. Well that's good. We thought you might have been surrounded by bad guys! <laughs> I apologize, I didn't mean to alarm you. Fortunately, there are no more treasure hoarders in the area. It seems this matter has finally come to an end. Great! The case of the stolen fireworks is finally solved! Good thing we were able to get to the bottom of it! Otherwise, those beautiful fireworks would have gone to waste, and the whole show would be ruined! That's right. By the way, Kuching, you're the one in charge of the fireworks show, which means you know the best viewing spot, right? According to Zhao, it's anywhere. Yes, of course. The best view should be from the Jade Chamber. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten my promise. But first, I have to drop by the Ministry of Civil Affairs and close this case. Leave the rest of this to me. You've already been a great help. Why don't you go for a walk around the city and I'll meet you when I'm done? Okay, but we'll be waiting for you. Yes, I'll be there. Catching leaves. Catching leaves. <sighs> Catching really is super busy. I'll meet you when I am done. How many times have we heard that already? Now Paimon gets why Lady Ningguang is so worried about Kuching. If she keeps working like this, she really will miss the lantern right. Let's go find Zhongli. Maybe we'll have a story for him. Oh, yeah! We said we would meet him! And we've even collected a few opinions about taking a rest from work. Zhongli said he'd wait for us at third round knockout. Let's go find him! I guess we're going all the way back. But according to Zhao, who I found out was down here, uh... Where is he? Here he is. Huh. You're here. I'm guessing this lantern ride is the same as every year. The demons have retreated, and the humans are safe and well. If Pervasi's knew, it would be a lifelong wish come true for him. Trust you're not here to invite me to watch the fireworks in the city. I think I'll be fine right here. As long as the fireworks fly high enough, you can see them from wherever you are. Besides, if anyone wishes to see me, I know they'll come and find me. So whether I'm here or in the city, it makes no difference. Alright. Uh, third round. Oh. There we go. We need two more wishes. So we need 320 total more than what we had at 200. Or hey, is that who Paimon thinks it is? 280 more than what we have. Is it Yun Jin? Yes, you are quite right. I shall take your wise words to heart, sir. They will certainly be most helpful in my next performance. You are welcome, Miss Yun. Your willingness to hear suggestions is indeed impressive. It's no wonder your opera performance has only been getting better. No, I'm afraid that's not always the case. Though I am still young, I can be quite arrogant at times. I do not always accept advice so readily, but your wisdom has spoken to me. Shen Li, we're back! Ah, you've returned. Hmm? You are also acquaintances? 
Yes, we sure are! We've met a couple times, or three. Not everyone gets the privilege of meeting someone so knowledgeable and discreet as Mr. Zhang Li. You are indeed well connected, traveler. I am flattered, Miss Yun. It is an honor for an ordinary person like myself to have met the traveler. Wow. Did he really just say that? I wouldn't dare reveal his true identity. I'm sure you must have matters to discuss. I have an appointment with Xinyan, so if you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave. <gasps> Rock and roll opera? Are they gonna invent the modern musical? Very well. Goodbye, Miss Yun. See you around, Yun Jin! So, tell me, what have you learned from your trip? Well, we asked around and we started hitching. You tell Zhang Li about everyone's views of work-life balance. Hmm. And how I catching see. is all for it. Well, traveler, what do you make of all their opinions? I think we can weave them into a story. I think we can weave them into a verse. Yeah! Paimon already started creating her own story on the way here. The goal is to convince Kuching to rest more with just a simple story, right? If that's the case, then Paimon thinks we can use food as our theme. Think about it. Who doesn't like delicious food? And when it comes to eating, everyone has an opinion. It's the perfect angle for our story. Simple, but deep. <laughs> Paimon knows just what to write. The very hungry caterpillar? Let's say there's a chef in Lua who's very talented at cooking. He opens a massive restaurant in Liyue Harbor, and lots of customers come every day, so he's always super busy. Then, uh, well, uh, how should the story go from there? His food starts getting worse and worse. Ooh, that's good. But wait, didn't we say he's really good at cooking? That wouldn't make sense. Look at this face. It's up to you, it's your story. There's no need to jump to the conclusion. Why don't you elaborate more on the chef? The more work he has, the faster he must prepare the food, the more food he has to prepare, the worse he gets. His cooking becomes worse and worse as he's under more and more stress to complete more and more orders. More about the chef. You mean both good and bad things? Yes. To gain one's empathy, there must be familiarity. I would like to understand this chef character of ours a little deeper. What if we add in a grandfather who was a great chef or something, or did some sort of great, like, cooking achievement? Make that relatable to catching. Hmm. Paimon didn't think this far. Uh, why don't you take it from here? Since you've spoken with others familiar with cooking, why don't we integrate their thoughts into your story? That will allow it to become all the more convincing. Um, okay. Let Paimon think. Hmm, what did Cloud Retainer say? She likes food. As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. <laughs> that was quite poetic, Paimon. Bravo! <laughs> oh, now Paimon remembers? Cloud Retainer said that if she spends all her efforts working on a machine with no time to test the outcome, then she'd be like a chef who doesn't get to try their own food. Problems are bound to pop up. We've brought it for a full circle, everybody. Yes, it is most unwise to put the cart before the horse. She said, so let's make that happen to the chef in the story. He's great at cooking, but he can't enjoy his own food. Hmm. But there must be a reason why he doesn't partake in the delicacies he makes. Right. It's because he's super busy. He receives the customers, he takes the orders, and he does all the cooking himself. <laughs> that should keep him busy enough. He's so busy every day that he doesn't even have time to take a break, which obviously also means he doesn't have time to eat! That sounds like a bit much. Hey, it's just a story. Besides, it's supposed to leave a powerful impression.
impression. Kinda like fireworks. Yes. The chef is unwilling to delegate tasks to others. He's overconfident about his own cooking abilities and tries to accomplish everything on his own. Paimon already kind of feels sorry for him. Many hands make light work. Oh, right! That's what the chef doesn't understand! And there's another saying. Um, what was it again? Eloquent speak is just to delegate work. Oh, a rested worker is an efficient worker. That's what Yamfei said. So the chef gets busier and busier to the point where he can't stand up straight anymore. And he has big, dark circles under his eyes. The customers tell him to take a few days off to get some rest. But the chef won't listen. His judgment is clouded by the chores before him. He is oblivious to mountains in the distance, the bigger picture. Eventually, the chef falls ill, and his cooking becomes far worse than when he started. The customers can't convince him to rest, and they don't like his cooking anymore. So they stop coming to his restaurant. Boom. Rest is always of great importance. Although we may come across various difficulties in our lives, Pushing ourselves is never a good modus operandi. The story is quite simple, without embellishment, yet deeply meaningful. If our listener is sensible, then she should quickly grasp the meaning contained within. You're saying Paima made a good story? Sincerity can allow one to see clearly, and earnest advice can provide sound direction. The story is indeed good. The Yuhang is an adroit leader. I am certain she will understand the message you are trying to convey. Really? Score one for Paimon! Given that the case involving the treasure hoarders has come to an end, she is inevitably tired. Now will be the ideal moment to speak with her. If all goes well, I think your story will be a success. Hear that? Zhang Li says Paimon! If anyone knows a good story, he does. Quick, let's go find Kuching. Now I set these timers wrong. I feel like the I feel like these timers are going off faster than they should. These uh, update commands. Oh well. I feel like Stream Elements is talking too much. Go find Catching. Ministry of Civil Affairs. All the way over there. Not too far though. Or maybe it is too far. That's the way we can teleport. Oh, she didn't say anything that first time. More speed. The matter has finally come to an end, but we mustn't lower our guard. Increase patrols around Chingsa Village and coordinate our people at other fireworks locations to prevent any further theft. Yes, Lady Kuching. And by the way, the Ministry has requested the Millilith to increase security along travel routes. How is that proceeding? It's all been taken care of. However, due to various reasons, there are still some blind spots in the city. Have we drafted a new patrol map? Please, give me a copy and I'll look it over when I have time. Understood. The patrol map is still being drafted, but it will be ready soon. Okay. Also, I... Oh, excuse me, Lady Kuching? Your friends are here. Hi, Kuching! Still working? Aren't we going to see the fireworks? Oh, yes. But I thought we'd meet at the Jade Chamber. Why have you come here? You told us to walk around, so we walked around. It's very nice, but it would be even nicer if you could join us. Do you still have work to do? It's nothing urgent, really. Just some trivial matters. But I wish to get it done as soon as possible. You can leave it to us, Lady Kuching. You've been working hard for a long time, so you should get some rest. If I'm not mistaken, the Traveler is here to remind you to take a break. 
We got something important to tell you, Kaching. That's right! Something so important that we must speak with you personally, right now! Preferably on the roof of a building. Oh, really? In that case, Jingcheng, I'll let you take charge. Thank you. Understood. I'll handle things from here. <sighs> Traveler and Paimon, let's go to the Jade Chamber. The view there is nicer and it's much more private. Perfect for talking. But first, what you gotta do, catching you gotta let's get the you you gotta let's uh, get there first, and then you need to walk up behind us, and we'll turn around, and we'll say, oh, "You well, came." Here we are. Uh, this is close enough. What was it you wanted to talk about? Uh, we have a story to tell you. Yeah, we want to tell you a story from this beautiful view. What do you say? All right, I'm listening. So it turns out we just heard some big news in Tevat. A very talented chef is in trouble. Oh, is the chef from Liyue? From Liyue Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk, perhaps? No, no, uh, the chef is from Mondstadt, yeah, and he's really, really good. He had a restaurant right next to the city gate. He was super efficient, and his cooking was really delicious. So his restaurant had been getting more and more popular. In fact, he became so busy that the worker from the florist next door asked him, Sir, why don't you find someone to help you in the restaurant? But the chef brushed the idea aside, saying that he's the only one that can turn top quality ingredients into world-class dishes. No one could help him. That kind of sounded like a Blue Apron ad. Hmm. Well, confidence is an essential trait for a good chef. He must be an excellent cook. That's what everyone was saying. But surprisingly, after just six months, no one would dine in his restaurant anymore. Hmm? Shocking, right? Do you have any guess why? Hmm. Maybe the chef had fallen ill, or... Wrong answer! You tell her, Traveler! He was too stubborn. Ding, ding, ding! Yep, it's because the chef was too stubborn. He would keep himself busy every day and try to make the most delicious dishes for all his guests. But he forgot that he's only human and needs time to eat and rest. He was so busy that he didn't even have time to eat and couldn't even taste his own cooking. He was unwilling to seek help, even when he's tired, because he thought he's the only one capable of cooking the best dishes. Eventually, the people around him felt like they couldn't help him anyway, so they just left. And because he had forgotten the original taste of his dishes, he was no longer a good chef. In the end, his restaurant had no choice but to close for good. Uh, oh. I see. He's overly confident, which disappoints the people around him, and he's so impatient that he ends up losing sight of his original purpose. <sighs> so, that's the whole story? Oh, um... It's not very good. We're sorry, Catching. Hey! Did you just say that Paima made a great story? <laughs> hmm? Did you come up with that story? Oh, uh, no! We just. Uh... <laughs> hmm. How should I describe it? The story is very simple, and I suppose the ending isn't really surprising. Huh? Think before you act and don't overexert yourself. Of course, I understand these concepts in theory, but... When tasks come to me personally, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. It's as if your judgment is clouded, right? Who, who are we yes. the quoting there? Up in the mountains, we can see the mist in the clouds. Out in the ocean, we can see fog on the sea. That's why from oh. time to time... Oh. We that was need to a examine where we are, sudden cut. remove the fog, and feel our heart. So, how do you feel now, 
Kuching? How do I feel? Hmm. Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. That way, I could finally take the opportunity to walk around the city, see the people I wish to see, and watch the fireworks. Thinking back, I used to be even more impatient. My colleagues would resign after just three months of working with me. You're completely right. It's important to know your boundaries. Uh, but I am getting better. You can tell, can't you? And... I did make a promise with you, didn't I? We agreed to enjoy the fireworks show together this year. So... So... Happy Lantern Rite, Traveler and Paimon. I'm very happy to be here and enjoy this moment together with you. I've poured all my best effort into this fireworks show. And now that we're here, I sincerely hope you will enjoy it. I feel very fortunate to be right here, enjoying the fireworks, and enjoying the view of Liu Harbor. Happy Lantern Rite, Catching. Happy Lantern Rite. <laughs> Happy Lantern Rite. And... Thank you. I can't wait for it to like hitch right in the middle of the fireworks show. You know it's gonna happen. And this is, yep, there it was. The item Lady Ningguang prepared for you has arrived. Uh, traveler, wait here for a moment. Don't go anywhere. Huh? It looks Must kind of important. fuzzy. It almost looks kind of like painty. Personal tailor make it for me. Said it's an imported style. Well, do you like it? Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> it's time. Traveler, please enjoy the grand finale of this year's Lantern Rite. The fireworks show. Check you out. Looking pretty fancy. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with this one.
<laughs> Dr. Baiju, sorry to trouble you again this year. <laughs> no trouble at all. Oh, lantern right. Happy lantern, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Happy lantern, right? Well, that was nice, but if I had to say one thing, one thing would be that. Something's come up. The oh, wrong button. The mouths and eyes, particularly on the models, look kind of weird. Um, they had lots of movement, which is nice, but they had a bit too much movement, and the mouths, especially like just the open mouth smiles, really made them look like they were clay. I don't know; it just looked a little off. Didn't really what look did like they had mouths. What did you think of this year's fireworks display? I just hope this festival can be everything that people want it to be. They were lovely. Really? Uh, I hope you're not just saying that to reassure me. I want you to be straight with me if you have any suggestions. <clears throat> anyway, if you have any time during the festival, take a look around the city. There's a lot to see, but it won't last, so make the most of it. <sighs> if only I had a little more free time. I'd love to take you around and show you everything we did to make the city look special during the festival. I wonder. Let's see. Hold on. Let's let's test something. Where are you? Here you are. Also, uh, I want everyone to know that I recently upgraded the Dull Blade to level 70, so Can we... You can't get anything out on this edge, can you? Drop. No, you can't. I was gonna say, so you'd have to put it back here. Although... No, because then you wouldn't be able to see it. Because I saw... Ooh, what does this even look like? If I zoom in, what does this look like? I know. The colors are really nice. The silver sword, I think, looks a little weird, though. I was trying to figure out what uh, if it was an ascension thing, because like Zing Cho's uh, character art has him with a silver sword. And a Noma. What does this do? Is this defense? Yeah, it's a Navar. But I'm waiting. I mean, I know it'll happen, probably. I don't know if the, the angle might not be as good. Let's see. There's no central, like, low part here. But I saw the, uh, thing that someone did with Deluke and Jean with her character quest. Let's get... who is in here? Barbara? Barbara. I'll take care of it! Can I put this out here? Oh, I can. And then I just free fall. The perfect time to test my theory. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you can. I didn't. I never tested that. You can just delay your plunge in order to take no damage. Now, what is this? Ah, we got to make the last ones. Nice. So we do have some more fireworks to make. That'll be cool. And then this, Oceanic Defender. Oh, it's just a challenge? I thought there might be a quest associated with it. Never mind. Uh, let's actually go back up to the Jade Chamber and make the fireworks. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go over and find Catching. And with Catching and Catching, let's... Here it is, place. Smell fireworks. Perfect quality. Okay, so let's see what we'll have to do with this one.
color, spread, height, size, rotation. We're at medium flame. Single smelt, complete smelting. Can you multi smelt? Let's see. Decrease moderately. Perimeter's quality will increase slightly. Curious efficacy. What's curious efficacy? I don't know. Um, let's do this one. And then let's go to rotation. Do that. Okay, now what we want to do is let's do this and let's go to. Oh, we've gone fast color. Okay, so we want to stop this because we've gone fast. But I still think the idea here would be to start with meticulous. And then maybe go to rotation. Oh, I see what happened. This counts. These count as adjacent. Oh. I was thinking about the bars. It's here that it shows. Um... So I guess the next one, we want to keep rotation, but let's use, let's use this. And then let's use this slightly. And then we want to use this size, let's do this slightly. Then with this height. And then with this spread. Oh, insufficient. Okay, well, we'll have to try that again. I guess we don't need it to be on strong. We can just go to medium. So let's start that again. We'll go to size. We will go to... I guess we could do... We could just start with raging fire. And then do meticulousness. And then go to rotation. And use it again. Does that go past? No, that like lands us like right on it. Cool. And then we can go to size with the strong flame. And we can do moderate. Yeah. Right on it. Then we go to spread and we can do another moderate. Yeah. And then we go to rotation. Do another moderate. Go to height. Let's decrease it. And then we have enough. We can just edge. Yeah. Boom. Perfect quality. Now, let's start off, let's do the same thing. Let's start off with a moderate, and then let's start off with a meticulous. And just do a meticulous and a meticulous. Now, let's go to rotation, and let's do bold. Yeah. So now, let's go to spread, and do bold. And let go to height, and do bold. Now, let's do moderate. Now, let's do a little bit here. Spread, let's also do a little bit. Size, let's also do a little bit. And then, hopefully, uh, this is going to put us over on your rotation, isn't it? Nope, right on it. Cool. Boom. Exactly. We used all of it. Boom. All of it. Done. Standard model. I don't know what this actually does, and as opposed to just having a higher score. Got some more of those. Got some more of these. Got three thousand of those now. Great gathering. We've done all of these, I believe. Yep. We've done all of Wondrous Shadows. So we just got Oceanic Defender. Nice. I don't know, is this co-op? I would assume it could be co-op. Prosperous Partnership? Oh. I don't know why this is pinging me. I still don't have enough Conquest Talismans. It's just to remind you that's there. So how many Primos are we at? 322. Okay, so we need... 160 more. We're going to get 60. I think we'll be just sure. 
Sure, just shy. I think we actually, we might be just on it. So I believe it's four dives and no, um, I hear Ganyu might be good As for this too. Uh, it's no, it's not getting hit and it's without letting it dive four times. That's the thing. And then the remainder of them are just like... Illusion Okay, so you can damage it. Oh, that's not who I wanted to be on. We're way behind schedule. Okay, I see why people say to bring down you. Oh, I got hit. Well, that challenge is out of the way. We're way behind schedule. You, if you ever want to come down here. You ever wanna, you ever wanna come fight me down here? Be more than happy to. Ah, oh, not a fan of these. Shudder. Bam, 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 bam. No, we don't run away yet. No! Oh. I got hit. What did I get hit by? Did I get hit through my shield? To watch out for other heads? This is so much better not doing this with like. Kaza. Uh, not Kaza. Kaya and Chi Chi. Come on! Focus! Okay, so. Moral of the story. Don't be in the center. No touching. Beg for mercy. Bam, bam, bam. Shine down. Oh. No, didn't get that one off. Oh, that one's done. What? I got hit by that? Okay. I mean, at this point, I've already gotten hit. I might as well just try and aim for the... Aim for the don't let it die four times thing. Which I think I'll be able to do. Illusion shattered! Born of ice and frost. Really? That already took out my shield? Oh, wait. Yes. There we go. I was gonna say, don't. I'm not gonna miss this chance. Okay. This one. Not too bad. Just gotta wait for that last. Oh, wait. You're still alive? I wonder if her skill can, like, shoot me out. When you use the one with no health, it's you. Okay. Challenge complete. Exit stage. Let's check what I got. I think I have to do this a total of six times. This is not something I look forward to doing in co-op, but I will. I do not look forward to it, though. Six times. Defeat Vice before she can dive four times. Okay, so I didn't get that. Her jet stream attack. I assume... What is jet stream? I assume that the jet stream is the big water sploosh thing. This is a very. I assume it's either that or it's the circle. It's the whirlpool. One of those. Um, defeating her before she can dive four times. Hmm. That really seems like that'll be easier to do if I get lucky with the attacks. Because if it's a bunch of, like, not on the. Like, a bunch of not being on the platform things. There's not a whole lot I can do with Eula. It 
And like, there's a bunch of these, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Or is that the jet stream? I think the wiki has... Uh... If I could avoid getting hit by one thing, one attack for sure, it'd be nice and easy. This is going well, I think. So that's one dive. Is that one head down? I can't tell if there's health there. Okay, I think it is. More speed. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Or is that jet stream? Oh, Beg for mercy. Opportunity. I'm not gonna use my burst just because Shut these uh, attack windows are so short. I condemn you. But no you seem to be doing good. That's a uh, dive number two, I think. Dive number two. Two heads, two more. Yeah. One more dive. There is no Okay, no, I can't get sucked out during that. Okay, that's annoying. Beg for mercy. This is less annoying. Thank you for the long window. Crush. Come on, come on. Access denied. Okay, that just shoves me back in. Nice. Thanks for that. Oh, uh, again? Alright. Thanks, game. Normally, I would just restart after that, but... Who? I think we missed the four dives again. Get this up in case uh, it decides that. There we go. Really? Already? That was a fast shield break. Beg for mercy. This is the last one. So close. Come on. You. Not you. What? I never understood this boss fight. Okay, we definitely did not get it in four dives. Where is the Where is this last one? Crush. There you are. Wow. That's annoying. The fact that you don't get your health back afterwards too is kind of annoying. I guess you didn't in the previous one either. But still Defeat Bush before she can die four times without being hit by the jet stream attack. Actually, gameplay tutorial. Oops, that's not what I want. Uh, it just kicks me out? Okay. Gameplay tutorial. Okay, so it's just any of the attacks. It's just uh, defeat Bush without getting hit by anything. Okay, that's doable, as long as I don't stand in the center. Yeah, as long as I just don't stand in the center. Also, I wonder if what they count as getting hit. Like, if I, uh, I'm i shielded, does that count as getting hit? Or is it just like, if any part of you comes into the hitbox of the, or the hurt box of the... Like, is it HP based, or is it just like, hit marker? Because if it's just like hitboxes, then that's going to be a lot harder. But if it's no damage, that's pretty easy. I can't imagine doing this in co-op. There is no think you can bully me. Next on the agenda. 
really just gotta dash twice, I guess. Next on the agenda. Okay, didn't take any damage there. Got lucky with that one. I don't know if that counts. Okay. And they ha uh, they have a hitbox for the entirety of that animation. Nice. Stay away from me. Oh, I got hit. Shine down. Thank for I get hit by something else too. Oh wait. Will be mine. Eye for an eye. More speed. Okay. Well, you know what. You know what, game? Uh, I don't... There is no escape! That's one dive. After. No touching! Oh, that's the one that's been defeated. Oops. We're way behind schedule. Shake it after. Is that? <sighs> that's the one that. Ah, uh, this boss is very poorly designed. I mean, it's fun to fight, kind of. It's very exciting, but. It's got lots of long and vulnerability phases. And are you the head I can attack? I guess the one that's uh, active is the one that shows up. It's the one whose health bar lights up. Let's just get this going. Okay, nice. So we're down to one. Now all three of them are going to come back. And I guess the blue one is the one that I have to no take down. Is that how this works? Yeah, okay, so they lose color. Okay, I understand now. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, it still hit somehow. Okay, so they lose color when you defeat them. That makes that easier. We're learning. Unlike the Registvon, I did not learn anything fighting the Registvon. Registvon? Waffer Flower. Uh, defeat Bush before she can die four times. Defeat Bush without being hit by her Jetstream attack. We actually did pretty well in terms of HP there. Uh, we just kind of burned Yula's burst, which is unfortunate. I think we have a pretty Illusion. solid setup. I mean, maybe bringing Bennett might be helpful. Aim low because they're going to go down, and it doesn't matter where I crit, because they don't have weak points. Oh, is that one already? Okay, yeah, so depending no on... Escape. Depending Thanks on the mercy. type of thing, we can definitely... I'm actually doing... Am I doing less damage Crush. than if I was just Ganyuin? I think I am. Uh, you worried about someone sneaking up on me? 
Okay, so that's a second. That's dive two. Illusion shattered. We got dive two. Shake it and stir. It's a dead head. Huh. We're way behind schedule. We're way behind schedule. Huh. Okay. Well, More speed. But well, we definitely took We're, damage there. Huh? But we can get you out of the way. We can go into the final phase. Does that mean if it's is it less than three or is it less than four or is it by four? I think it's less than four. I think it's three. So I think you had to defeat a maximum of two heads in one phase. I think, which is possible. I guess maybe you got lucky with some of the. Out of there. Now it's not the time to be lagging. Come on, one more. Come on. There we go. Oh, that would suck if you got hit right in the exit stage, like right when you uh, get the victory. That'd be awful. You got hit then. Well, I got one of them. Die four times. Okay. Now, this will be easy. Without being hit by your jet stream attack. That's easy. I just have to take things slow. And also... Yeah, I'll just take things slow. In the sense that... Obviously, the faster I defeat her, the easier it is... Oh, this isn't a tower. The faster I defeat her, the less time I have to get hit by attacks. But. We need a total of 480. What do we got? Okay, so we'll get this last one and we'll be set. We either. Technically, we just have to do it two more times because that's the one that actually gives us Prima gems. You don't get gems for the challenges, which makes sense. In case someone can't finish a challenge, they don't lose any substantial rewards. Excuse me. So this time, we want to focus on just evading attacks, which I'm, is going to be great with the lag. But... Let's just get this going, and... It's that last bubble I'll have to watch out for. Just missed those last two. Illusion Unfortunate. Shattered. No big deal. Crush. As long as you don't come in with your huh? swirly majig. Beg for mercy. No, that's fine. Shutter. Oh. Oh, did I do oh I dodged them all. No, I didn't. I've lost it. I lost a serpent stack, so I did not dodge the all of them. I got hit by something. Either that or I didn't go into this with full stacks, which is entirely possible. I am going to choose to believe that I just there didn't no get hit, so I won't be disappointed later. I mean, I did get hit, not didn't get hit. Mm. Ah. Do I still have- no, Thanks my stacks mercy. reset. Are you a swirly boy? No, you're bubbles. Okay, so this Illusion is good. Shattered. This is really good, actually. Because this will let me know what counts as getting hit. Got all three of them now. Get rid of these. Oh, all bubbles. Okay. Okay. I see you. Give me my, yep. Got uh, uptime again. 
Please be the swirly. No, your bubbles. Not fun. And then I want to get away from you. There is no escape. So then you're gonna come crashing in. Shudder. Huh. More speed. Oh, I definitely got hit there. I got hit twice there. Beg for mercy. I just want to not die from this whirlpool. Oh. You can't be hit anymore. Where are your friends? This is the thing, like, I get... make Let them attack, right? But the fact that the ones that you've already defeated stick around and eat into your time makes it quite annoying. Did I not... I was gonna say, did that not hit? There we go. So we definitely avoided... We definitely got hit there. Of course it's this one. Come on. There we go. Just gotta get on this other edge. Not get sucked in here. There we go. So we gotta do it one more time. Hmm. How will we... I guess Eula's not going to do any damage, so let's do... Do I have anyone else who gets damage reduction besides Beto? So here's the plan. Di uh, Diona, her shield's pretty good, but uh, it could be better. So, actually, does the thing work on them? It does not. Zingcho's rain swords are here to provide some additional tankiness for the shield. I don't really care about anything else. Oh, that hit. Nice. Hopefully that damage... Hopefully it marks... Uh... Time to act. Getting, like, taking damage and not, like, getting hit by the bubbles. It does. Everybody stand. Oh, of course you all had to go down. Let me get this shield up. The downside, I guess, is I have no one to take advantage of those long melee uh, hitboxes. Let's get this going. This going. Oh, of course the shield just ran out. Well then, this runs kind of a wash. We're gonna get our primos, and that's it. Oh, my key got stuck. That would have been bad. Well, I guess we try to get some particles back for Bennett. Get this done faster now. Of 
Where are you, Beist? Ah, oh, this one again. That's got a really long range on it. That's kind of a... Next on the agenda. Oh, it's still sending the bubble over. That's pretty funny. We're way behind, Skip. I guess we wait for one of you y'all to show up, preferably. No, my sword. Next on the agenda. You. Oh, Long that's not what I wanted to do. Wrong button. I'm going in. Huh? Think you can bully me? Come on, let me get out of there. Oh, what? Well, that's the sixth run, I believe. Dodging attacks is gonna be actually no dodging the attacks is what without being hit by our jet stream attack. What's the jet stream attack? How did I get that? I got hit multiple times there by multiple different attacks. Also, why is my window so? Why is everything launching into like tiny windows? I opened up. Jet, let's see, jets. What? Jet stream attack. What is the jet stream attack? Let me watch this video. I think I have it muted. No, it won't be muted. I'll just let me just mute it. Feet bushed. Okay, yeah. You're attacking. Yan Fei overload. Yeah, yeah. So what's the jet stream? Is it the I guess it's the Also, level 89. Oh, I guess adventure rank, I was going to say. I don't know. That bush seems like it's got less health than the one I had. Is it the... Okay, so it's not the dive. It's not the whirlpool. It's not the bubbles. Is it the water jet beam that it shoots out? Is that what it is? Also, what a team I'm looking at. I mean, I guess if it works, it works. Oh no, that does make a lot of sense. Yan Fei and her tracking. Is that Dodoko? I think that's Dodoko Tales. It's pretty funny. Let's see. Oh, well, I'll just look this one. Jet stream attack. What is the jet stream attack? I guess it's the... the dive? I don't know. All I know is that the game says I did it. So is this enough to... Claim gift. That Ulu is kind of weird with the background. It's nice. Yeah, so that doesn't actually take it away from us. Yun Jin, thank you very much. New character. Event shop. Now, is this enough for everything? I guess it is. Get spi uh, sparkly shiny Dodico. Soup. What is it? Shiny smiley story? Is that what it is?
What's the song called? Yeah, Shiny Smiley Story. Oops, sorry about that. One Men Feast. Mischievous, uh, Velosas? 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 I really thought there'd be more grinding, I'll be honest. I thought, like, maybe you'd get... I guess because it takes longer, they didn't want to do it, but, like, with the fell flower. I was really expecting something where we'd fight Beisht a bunch of times. Oh well. I feel like I have some of these, but maybe not. I guess I don't if I'm buying them. But I do recognize them from stuff. We could make the Mihate Town thing. It's 500... 120 each. Cool. Oh yes, we're gonna get diligence books. Great, Ganyu needs these. Nice, nice, nice. Boom, the shop is cleared out. I've got the outfit. I've got the prosperous partner shop. Partnership. For some, they may say, that's it. What else is there to do? I'll tell you. I'm going to do co-op. But first, we got 10 wishes right here. Not 10, we got um, 8, 9. 9? We got 9. 9? Yeah, 9. No, we have 8. Five would be eight hundred. Yeah. So four would be yeah. We have eight. And we will on this last one, as long as we don't hit it early, we will get another four star. I hope it's Sing Cho. Please be Sing Cho. Skyrider? I didn't check. You need to do that or cool steel. What will it be? What will it be? Debate club? No. Sharpshooter? Raven. Wrong on both accounts. Twin Nephrite. Nope. Grilling Tails? Nope. Magic Guide. So this should be the... Actually, we'll hold off that. Let's do these first. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Twin Nephrite. Twin, twin Nephrite. Skyrider? Harbinger. Skyrider Great... Why would it be Skyrider Greatsword? It can't be Skyrider, I don't know why I said that. I meant Harbinger. Actually, I think I meant Cool Steel, but... Yeah, whatever. Oh no, there is a Skyrider Sword. I have no idea where we are on Pity. I don't think we're anywhere close, though. I'm pretty sure I just got a 4-star, so... Ravenbow? Ravenbow. Ooh. The Bell. Rosaria. Nice. And our one. One of ten. Will we get lucky? No. Uh, debate club. Nope. Six shot. And what will our four star here be? Rust. Hmm. I don't have anybody that uses Rust. That's all of our star glitter. You might be wondering, what happened to all the other ones you had? I got uh, official C1. I figured I might as well start now. She hasn't been on a banner in, like, ye actual years. And I don't have any of her constellations. I was like, I'll get the first one. It's not that great. But it's one step closer to C6. Rosaria, on the other hand, C5. Nice. Rights of Termination. Don't really care about the bonus level there. Uh, I do care about getting her to C6. That physical shred. First 10 seconds of Eula's burst, aka everything except Eula's actual burst. Sing Cho looking pretty good. C5. Beto looking pretty good. She's at like C7 now. Mel's looking pretty good. C6. Yanfei. She's at like C8. Looking pretty good. What did we get here? Ah, yes, all these. And of course, how could I forget? I'll leave this as a recipe, though. Scroll all the way down here. Yunjin. Balance. Yes. Her charge and her thingamajig. The normal attack buffer herself. 
what her actual thing is. What what does your thing do? Hold. Okay. So it just says geo damage. Okay, and then what does this do? When normal attacks dealt, bonus damage rejects current death. Okay. But hers is based off of different party members, isn't it? Like, uh, different... Yeah, elemental, different element types. So I guess it becomes... I don't know how she does for battering, but that would be nice to toss in with the Geo Noel team. Toss down Eugen's... How much is her burst? 60? That's not that bad. 3 second downtime? That's pretty good. How's Goro's? Goro's is much worse. 11 second downtime. But he makes it up with it with his uh, field. So yeah. Toss down Goro's field. Yunjin gets her flying flags. Um, I think I'll probably keep Geo Traveler then for the Wake of Earth field. <laughs> and then I think I'll sub out Ningguang for Yunjin. I don't know. It's really just kind of like... Is the 12% Geo damage bonus for 10 seconds? I don't think it's worth losing out on the... Where is it? The 10% crit rate. And the... I mean, the interruption doesn't really matter, but... Emblem of Severed Fate, Wanderer's Troop. You gotta wonder how you got these pieces. I don't know. Yunjin, um... I don't know what's supposed to be good on you. You scale off of defense. I don't think Husk is gonna do anything for you. No, I don't- this won't do anything. I don't think. Maybe, does it say additional geo damage? Oops. No, it just says bonus damage. Okay, so no. I would assume something like no bless would be good for her. For that attack buff. Although, on a scaling thing. Using the worst two energy for all party members, excluding the wearer. The effect cannot stack. Does that mean it doesn't stack with others of the same type, or it doesn't stack with prototype amber? I don't know. Either way, probably a similar set to run on Yunjin. Or Yunjin. Whatever they said. Is that it? Is that all for today? I think it is. What is there to do? Ah. Oh. oh, full speed ahead. I was going to say, please don't be the one with the food. Urgent repairs. Small stuff for Hilly Charles. Magars. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Oops. I think I'm gonna... Go grind out some... Hard to depth... Blizzard Shrayer pieces. <laughs> Just so... I have some utility with Ganyu. So she has something other to, uh, to use other than Wanderer's Troop. But wow, yeah. I didn't think the str the stream it's it's I mean it's about the normal length we do not too long though. Um, I figured it wouldn't be too long. I figured the longest part would be the story quest. Oh, boom! I guess this is warranted. Honestly, I think they both look good. I like her color scheme here more, I'll be honest. This also means I have to change her glider. So, 
It's kind of blue purpley. What's a good glider? Wings of companionship. I think that looks good. Not gonna do this. I wish you could spin this instead of having it rotate around for you. I mean, that looks kind of good. The colors aren't right, but I just don't want to have Wings of Concealing Snow on another character. It's on Ganyu. Is it on Diana? No, Diana's still using Wings of Companionship. But it's on Eula. What's on... I don't know what I put on Chi Chi. Wings and Companions. Okay, I think it just matched her with Diana. Uh, it's on Yula. It's on Ganyu. I think it's on Rosaria. Either that or it's First Flight. No, First Flight. How does this look? I think I determined there was too much. Yeah, it didn't match the color scheme. But it's on Kaya. I believe it's on Shangyun as well. <laughs> yeah, I have it on like every single Cryo character. Barbara's, I believe, is the Monstat one. I wonder... Yes. And catching, you have the... These ones. I might change these. I might change this to this. I think this looks better. Because you kind of got like the sparkles on your dress. Because originally... Even, I think with this, or even originally, I think maybe Concealing Snow would have worked better, but... Why are you- what are you missing? Shiminawa? Who has Shiminawa pieces? Amber does. Amber has Shiminawa pieces. How many does Amber have? Oh, all of them. Except for the Pyro Goblet. Which I guess Yanfei took. I wonder. I mean, obviously Yanfei has, like, Crimson Witch, but I wonder about Shiminawa Yanfei. wonder about that one. Not that her Crimson Witch is good. Hmm. It's not. But yeah. Let's reorganize this party. Let's get back to the party that it should be. Come with me. And then... You're new. There's still a long road ahead. We're gonna run Geo-Catching. It's a new <laughs> Metacomp. Full Geo with Catching. It's perfect. It's very simple. You just gotta wait the five second cooldown. Drop. Can you get through here? Oh, you can't walk through there. Never mind. You just put this down. Maybe you used a burst. Yes, I will just. Right. And then what happens is you normal attack, you charge attack. They hit the they hit the ring. Boom. They hit the ring and they can't get out. Does my crit rate go up? No, it does not. It does not actively show it. Yeah. And then Ningguang does Ningguang things. Like that. And now, uh... I am off to fight the Ruin Guard to get my burst back. Huh. Yeah, doesn't this look good? I think that looks pretty good. She kind of looks like Kokomi. She's like a tall Kokomi. Oh, these are some nice attack animations. Oh. True tragedy. Saw that one coming. Well, bam. Bam. Yeah. Well, bam. Well, bam. 
Now, if you could please get out from there. Appreciate that a lot. Well, that's just cheap. It's not my fault you're stuck on there. It's nothing. Give up. Uh, that's pretty cheap too. All right, Ning Long, do your thing. Yeah, balanced gameplay. Crumble apart. Speed of light. Hey, will not. Oh wait, what? Oh, I see what's happening here. Oh, I really... Okay, well, you know what? It's I guess we're not defeating this with catching. I guess what we're doing is we're battering uh, GOMC. Toss one of these down. Oh, that didn't hit at all. Don't waste my time. Get one of these. Some energy there. There we go. Yunjin, how are you doing on energy? Uh, no. Map. Not dealing with that. Bye. Catching. You could revive, please. I'm sorry. I forgot that it wouldn't heal. It would auto for Yunjin. Ooh, that was a nice pause. Let me... Let me pull up a uh, quick little baseline build. Engulfing lightning on Eugene. Really? Husk? <gasps> Excuse me. Does she have crystal collapse? No, that's Goro, right? Goro has the crystal collapse. Doesn't he? Yeah, he has the crystal collapse. Two piece house, two piece emblem is good, I guess. Where's the reasoning behind here? Anyway, looks like a pretty generic uh, support build for Yunjin. You know. Favonius Lance, I don't have any other good lances for her. Favonius Lance, two piece husk, two piece emblem, or four piece husk. Got Dragon Spain. Use the catch on her. Um. But yeah. You know what? Let's give her. Let's just give her black tassel and whatnot. I don't I have no good support spheres except for Favonius. And let's just find the best husk pieces we have. Defense, elemental mastery, defense, crit damage. Defense, elemental mastery, crit rate, crit rate, elemental mastery attack, elemental mastery HP. This one has defense percent. Even though that's going to be horrible on a level 1, but, you know. This has crit damage and uh, energy recharge. This has defense percent, though. And flat defense. Any geo damage in here? Nope. Let's go with this one. And then... Emblem. Any good emblem? Geo emblems? Pyro, sure, why not? Right. Boom. Amazing. The best Yunjin you've ever seen. She's got Black Tassel. Black Tassel actually doesn't look bad. Eh, no, I take that back to do it too blue. I don't know. There we go. What's your charge attack? Ah, it's one of these. 
Nobody gets fun and cool spear charge attacks like, uh... Raiden and Zhao. Speaking of... Rosario, what are your attacks? I hear you've got a job I don't even for remember. Me. Oh. Yeah, they're all just like the... D oh. They're all just the drill. That's not exciting. Huh. I wasn't ready for that one. But... I think that's where we call this today's stream. I said it was going to be short. It is shorter, comparatively speaking. We didn't do a lot. Uh, it was shorter in the sense that we did not do a lot. It was also shorter in the sense that uh, we've recently had... Uh, uh, what's wrong with this? How long has that been up? Have I just not seen that? Why is everything broken? What's happened? What's happened? I look fine. I'm okay. Am I fine? Okay. That was weird. I guess I just like leaned out of the camera too much. What's up with the chat though? How long has that been going? What is this? Why is this here? What is this? Remove. Huh? That's weird. Text.gdi. Okay. That's weird. Well, I, I'm gonna have to go back and watch the VOD. It's nothing that exciting. It looks like it was... It looks like it was a couple... I don't know, it looks like a bunch of old... Oh, I know. I know what it was. I don't know how that happened. I see. Somehow... I don't know. That's pretty impressive. I don't even know how I did that. Somehow I added in text to the stream and somehow I also stream elements. I have apparently... I highlighted a bunch of text. Balance, but I think this is pushing it. Weird. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. That's kind of weird. Well, anyway, catching has a good point. Why don't we end the stream? Hmm. Oh, there's, na there's actually something on there. I don't think I've ever zoomed in to actually look at it. And actually... Get Ningguang, right? She's a new outfit. I've had catching's outfit. Ningguang's new. She's purple. On this. And Yunjin. She's also new. She's also purple. They're all purple. <gasps> Wait a second. Okay, I don't know. It looks- maybe it's just the angle. She looks a lot like Sucrose's character model. I guess it's like the same general type of uh, model. It's just like her boots and everything. It's almost like she's looking down. It's pretty funny. Uh, anyway. That's where we really will stop the stream. Yeah. Tomorrow. I'm gonna try to stream tomorrow. Don't know about it though. But. Got a lot of things to do. Hopefully I will be able to. What does this look like? And leap. Oh, that lecture looks pretty cool. I wasn't able to use it before because she just died. What does the press look like? 
Oh, that's pretty cool too. I'll be honest, I don't really remember much from any of the character trials. But... Anyway... No fun songs today. Um, I can't think of anything fun. Uh, the only thing that sticks out is playing Shiny Smiley Story off of an offhand comp uh, comment I made. That doesn't make a lot of sense, though. So we'll just go with more Jotunheim Lullaby. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to try my best to get everything done. So... Well, aren't you fancy? Uh, I'm going to do my best to get uh, everything set up and everything done so we can stream tomorrow. Do more World's End, I think. Do some more of Yukino's route. I would say we're about two thirds through. We went up to, I would say, like the club present uh, presentation. The club vacation, or not the club trip. What? Yes, the club trip, not the club vacation. The Oof. club presentation thing. My waistband has been feeling a little snug these last couple of days. Methinks I perchance have overindulged. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I would say that the club trip is like the first half or first third of the game, and then I would say everything up until the festival is like the next third, because the festival is usually the ending, and that it's been it's been a sizable chunk of the game, especially Mimes. So yeah. Oh, I like how the spear kind of wobbles; it like gets all bendy. Um. But yes, that is something that we will be doing. I would say we're probably going to at least get to the festival tomorrow, and then maybe finish up on Friday, maybe even Thursday, who knows. Anyway, thank you all for stopping on by. I don't know if I missed some things. I don't think I did. It could just be some old alerts that went through, it could be some alerts that didn't go through. Nothing played, so I didn't hear any alert sounds, so I'm going to assume it's all good. So, with that being said... As Yunjin finishes up her second idol pose and the music kicks in, it's time for me to mute up and play my own music. Goodbye.